In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Hop Exchange to bridge between Ethereum and any of its layer two rollups like Arbitrum, Optimism, and Base, and then to bridge between those layer two rollups. Welcome back to Dynamo DeFi. My name is Patrick. As a reminder, this video is a tutorial about how to use a cryptocurrency protocol. However, anything involving crypto still involves risk. So be sure to do your own research before using any of the tools I talk about in this video. All right, now let's get into it. To start, you're going to go to the website hop.exchange and it will look something like this. And then you click on, you guessed it, use hop. We're going to use hop to do these bridging in this video. And I find that this is probably the most reliable, best application for bridging to most Ethereum layer twos. If you use the native bridges to these layer twos, usually you have to wait seven days to bridge back, whereas hop you can bridge back instantly. So, so I usually use hop at a minimum to bridge off the chains. To start, we're going to have to connect our wallet. And sometimes, for some reason, it doesn't show MetaMask right away. MetaMask is what I'm using for this video. When that happens, you just have to refresh the page, typically. And then when we try to connect again, it shows up. I don't know why it does that, right? Maybe it's because it only has four spots, so it picks randomly. But we click on Connect, uh, and then it's going to connect our wallet. And now that our wallet is connected, we are ready to bridge. We're going to use this tab at the top that says Send. And you can see here, you can send a number of assets, ETH, USDC, USDT, et cetera, et cetera. You won't be able to send any of these to any chain. However, you should be able to send ETH, USDC, and USDT probably between all of these chains. If not all of them, then almost all of them. And you can certainly send ETH between all of them. For this video, we're gonna send ETH. And you see first, you select the from network. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven networks available here, most of the major well, all of the major layer twos, as well as a few other networks. Uh, and then you select your network on the two chain as well. And so we're gonna send it from Ethereum to start. We'll send 0.01 ETH, uh, probably about $15. And we're gonna send it from Ethereum and we're gonna send it over to, let's send it to Arbitrum One. It'll show you the fees that you'll pay. It'll show you the estimated received. You can see there's a small amount of slippage uh, it'll, I'll get 0 0.009979 instead of 0 0.001, practically the same. Uh, and you can see that the estimated time. And so note the transfer time says 10 minutes here. When I make this video, I'm going to clip out those 10 minutes so you don't have to sit here and watch. But if you send it and it disappears from your wallet and then you're sitting here and you are waiting for it to arrive, know that it could take 10 minutes. Uh, depending on if the network's busy. I've even seen it take 20, 30, 40 minutes. So don't freak out. Just take a walk, take a deep breath, wait some time and see that it, uh, see that it should arrive eventually. Uh, if you want to have extra security, then one thing that I like to do a lot is I'll do a test transaction to start. I'll send $5 across, just eat the extra gas fees just to make sure that it works correctly. And then once that first transfer works correctly, I'll send the second transfer across. I know most people aren't gonna do that because people are impatient, but if you want peace of mind, send a tr test transaction. All right, I'm gonna click on send, estimated wait 10 minutes, I'll click on send again. I'm prompted to confirm the transaction on my wallet, which I am doing. And then you can see you'll get this pop-up right here that shows you the number of confirmations on Ethereum as well as the wait time. And this should take about 10 minutes for this to go through. And once your funds finish bridging, the page will look like this where Ethereum is complete and then the destination chain is also complete. And just know that if you click away from this page, it won't stop the ETH from being bridged. Don't panic, it's not gonna disappear. However, you won't be able to as easily see updates. So I usually like to leave it running in the background just so I can check on the status. And then once it's done, you'll be able to click into your MetaMask wallet and you can change the chain you're on. I'm gonna change to Arbitrum 1 and we can see here that our ETH arrived. And I have a little more than that because I already had a small amount of ETH uh, in my Arbitrum wallet here. All right, and so now uh, we're back to hop. We can see that we have our Arbitrum balance. Uh, and then what we're gonna do now is we're actually gonna bridge from Arbitrum to another layer two. So as you'll see, this is a very convenient way to not just bridge from Ethereum to layer twos, but to bridge between layer twos. I'm personally gonna go from Arbitrum over to Optimism and let's send 0.1 ETH again. Arbitrum Optimism, uh, whoops, I meant 0 0.01, 0 0.01 ETH, and we'll click on send, exact same process as before. We'll have to confirm the transaction. And then once again, 
It could take about 12 minutes, but once the transaction is confirmed, the ETH will appear on our Optimism wallet. Once again, after a few minutes, both the source and destination will mark as complete. This did take about 12 minutes as expected. And if you go into your wallet here, we can see the funds disappeared from my Arbitrum wallet. And if I switch to the Optimism network, then they've appeared here, just under 0.01 since there was just a little bit of slippage. And that's how to use Hop Exchange. It's really that simple to swap between Ethereum and Layer 2s. I find that although it does take a couple minutes, it's generally, generally the most reliable of any bridge I've found for moving between these various Layer 2s. Thanks for watching. If you want more videos like this, be sure to like and subscribe. And until next time, this is Dynamo DeFi.